So this morning I woke up and I got a little interesting notification on my phone. Elon Musk was streaming about cryptocurrency. So I opened it up in my browser and I clicked the uh, notification because I was like, oh, okay, Tesla is live. Um, I definitely am not subscribed to Tesla, but I wanted to know which YouTube channel was hacked. And boy, are we in for a doozy. You want to know which channels were hacked? Linus Tech Tips, Tech Linked, Tech Quickie, and Linus Tech Tips Temp. WAN Show is fine, LMG Clips, and so is, uh, whatchamacallit, so is Channel Super Fun. I wonder if his cat YouTube channel got hacked as well. I don't know, I don't remember his cat YouTube channel name. Um, but yeah, so long story short. The man, the myth, the legend, Linus Tech Tips, and many of his channels have fallen to the uh, channel hacking that's been going on on YouTube for a long time. If you guys remember a couple months ago, my channel was hacked. And what I figured out is what I probably fell for was the whole OBS thing. I probably downloaded OBS from the wrong place. And it stole the information from my web browser of saved logins. Or it did something else. It probably stole like cookies or something like that. Because the hack on your YouTube channel, when this happens, doesn't trigger you t your two-factor authentication. And that's something I've seen a lot from people talking about the YouTube channel getting hacked. They're like, oh, look, it's another tech giant that speaks about security, but they didn't have two-factor enabled. Whatever they are doing to get into these channels to start streaming is not triggering two-factor. Not at all. When my YouTube channel started streaming, the only reason I got a notification is because on my phone I had a different YouTube account that was logged in and subscribed to my own YouTube account. So in a situation like this, I would get the notification that my channel was hacked because I knew it was going to happen eventually. It seems to happen to everyone, including Linus Tech Tips. So, when I found out that my channel was hacked, I quickly went in before they could even change my password. And in some situations, uh, one of my favorite channels, um, Go Herping, well, one of my girlfriend's favorite channels, he was hacked a couple months ago and started having his YouTube channel streaming the Tesla Bitcoin scam. And what ended up happening with his channel was he did eventually get it back. As you can see, he's back. Um, still doesn't know how his channel got hacked. He's said he has his two-factor enabled. The only thing I can think of is there are files that are being cached for a web browser that these hackers have found, and they can take them. Maybe it's cookies, but I don't think it's that simple, especially not with YouTube. If YouTube is just using cookies for tracking your login, and that's it, and there's no... uh. There's no security against just cookie stealing, which is like super simple. Uh, yeah, if there's no protection against cookie stealing, then it really, like YouTube is, should be held on the hook for this kind of stuff. So let's look up cookie stealing because I want to talk about it for a moment. But first, I got to sneeze. Hold on. I love when I come across something and the logo is the same as something else I use in my daily life. You know what this looks very similar to? Game Guardian for Android. Anyway, so browsers allow users to maintain authentication remember passwords and autofill forms. That might seem convenient, but attackers can exploit this functionality to steal credentials and skip login challenges. That's probably what's going on with YouTube, but I would be very surprised if they didn't have some kind of protection against it. Behind the scenes, browsers use SQLite database files to contain cookies. These cookies are, comp are composed of key value pairs and the values often contain critical information such as tokens and ex expiration dates. Adversaries know the exact name and location of these files for all major browsers such as Chrome, Firefox, 
I know they know it for Opera and Brave and very Edge and Internet Explorer. If you're still using Internet Explorer in 2023, you borderline probably deserve to get hacked um, on various operating systems. That's why the attack can be scripted. It's not uncommon to find such scripts along with other modules for stealing info and other mail and other malware. So let's explain what probably happened to Lydas Tech Tips. They've made a video about it before. There was a well, even some ordinary gamers. Funny that pops up. Not surprising. Uh, I watch his videos all the time. What probably happened is either a the wrong OBS was downloaded because if you go OBS Studio and you just Google it, Google has finally fixed the issue where OBSproject.com is the legitimate source for OBS. Let me see if I disable my ad block what comes up. Okay, it's still the correct OBS. So a couple months back, if you Googled OBS Studio and tried to download the software, you would see, you know how Google sometimes has like sponsored stuff and it'll be ads. There was OBS-studio.com or something like that. OBS Studio. I don't remember what it was. I probably find it here. So OBSstudio.com. I want to say it was that. Long story short, if you typed in OBS Studio on Google and tried to go to OBSstudio.com like this, it was a similar URL. It would come up as an advertisement, and you would be able to download a hacked OBS Studio, but it wasn't known that it was hacked. Not a lot of people knew that it had viruses in it, and it was stealing information off your computer so people could try to steal your YouTube account. There are other things floating around right now as well. Key generators are being uh, binded with popular um, torrents or illegal downloads of like Adobe Premiere and other streaming software or other video editing software. So if you search, for example, Adobe Premiere Pro Cracked, these guys are basically paying. These hackers are basically masters of Google SEO. And they're getting their stuff put to the top of Google search results. You download their stuff, and it's the same as downloading that hacked OBS. They are just finding every avenue they can. Or, even better yet, what could have also happened that has been made public by both some ordinary gamers and Linus Tech Tips and many other YouTubers is the fact that there are also hacked emails that go out. So the email can look legitimate. And it could sound like a legitimate, uh, like, hey, we want you to run a sponsor spot in our video and or in your video and talk about us and we'll pay you. And then it's a software. They send you the software to download so you can show it off. That software, it could be a fake software. And then suddenly they have all your channel information. Somehow they are getting around the two-factor authentication and destroying YouTube channels. It's insane the number of channels you can find that are constantly streaming. So like here, this is another one and a half million subbed YouTube channel that's been hacked right now that is streaming. Oh, this one might not be hacked. No, this is... Yeah, it's definitely not. Oh, maybe that is the actual Tesla YouTube channel. Okay, go away. You used to be able to literally just search Tesla Live and you could find the channels that are hacked. But I guess it's starting to get smarter and not showing you those results. You used to be able to find this kind of stuff. I wonder if this is the stream. Hold on a minute. We'll just like fast forward through it because this will tell us if it was hacked at one point. Now, 
looks like that's Tesla's actual YouTube channel. My bad. But <clears throat> once in a while, it's fine, fun to just go on YouTube and search Tesla Live or something like that, and you'll find the channels that are currently hacked and currently streaming. And it seems like they do it in bulk. They do it... Oh, hey, we have a dozen YouTube channels. Okay, why is... Okay, whatever. They have, like, a dozen YouTube channels. And once they have that number of channels, and they have the botted viewership and stuff like that, that's when those channels go live. So they get a bunch of them all at once, and then they go live with all of them all at once. But yeah, long story short of today's video, just some education about how the hacking is happening, what probably happened... Don't yell at them about the two-factor authentication because I'm sure they have it enabled. It's just this hack can get around it. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out. And let's hope we see Linus back. I'm sure he will be.